All right, so hello and welcome. Uh, in this Adobe Animate tutorial, I am going to show you uh, if else statement. And we are going to be working in the HTML5 canvas. So here I am in the Adobe Animate. I have some width and height. I have some frame rate, frame rate it doesn't matter. And we want to choose HTML5 canvas and hit create. Uh, now I want to go and create some kind of shape. So I will go to the rectangle tool. I will go to the properties and uh, I have some stroke and fill. I will click on the stroke and I'm going to click this because I do not want to have like so. And I will go to the fill and I'm going to choose maybe some orange color like so. And uh, I'm going to be on this layer one and I'm going to do something like this. Then I will go to the text tool. I will choose maybe white color and I'm going to type show or hide. Now I will put it to the center and maybe I am going to uh, change the col color to the black because it's not very visible like so. Now I'm going to highlight it and I will go to the modify and convert to symbol because we we need to convert our shapes to the symbol if we want to animate them or if we want to uh, target them with the JavaScript. I can leave this to be symbol one, it doesn't matter. I will hit OK. And if I go to the library, uh, you can see that here is symbol one. Usually I name this, but uh, in this case it doesn't matter. Because what is important is if I click on this shape, like so, I'm going to see in the properties that it is movie clip and a bunch of other stuff. And here is the instance name. And this is the name by which we are going to be targeting this you know, with the JavaScript. So I'm going to call this, for example, my and with capital B button, like so. All right. Uh, now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go to the oval tool and again, get rid of the stroke and get some fill color. I can go with maybe something like this. And you can go ahead to the new layer if you want, but you can stay on the same layer. It doesn't matter. I can stay on this layer one and I'm going to create something like this. And now just uh, because I like it, I don't know, I'm going to uh, get some different color and I'm going to create shape like this. Something like so. Okay. And one funny thing about the animate, if you create the shape like this and then draw over a shape like this, it is going to cut from the shape. I don't know why, but it's like that, but I'm going to put it like so. This doesn't happen if you group that or convert that to the movie clip, but I, I want to do something like this. I'm going to highlight it. I will hit F8 or go to the modified convert to symbol, but F8 is the very useful shortcut. I can leave this to be symbol two. Okay. If I go to the library, I can see that I have symbol two, which is this one and symbol one is this one. All right. And I will click on this. I will go to the properties and I'm going to call this my shapes. So we have uh, two instance names. We have one, which is my button and second, which is my shapes. Uh, I can uh, go ahead and name this layer to be um, graphics, for example. And then we are going to create new layer and we are going to call this layer to be code. Uh, I will click on this show and hide and I'm going to copy this my button, control C. And I will go to the code. I will right click and choose actions. Or you can use the shortcut F9, which is also a very useful shortcut, but I will right click, uh, right click and choose actions. And now I can start to uh, type my code. Uh, I would maybe recommend you to go and watch my uh, tutorial for uh, click event and mouse event, or maybe one of them is enough click, click event. I'm going to provide the link in the description, but I'm going to start to type. So I will type this which refers to the whole animate object. Then I'm going to paste this my button. So this, this button, I'm going to add even listener. So just type add the, 
capital E, event, capital L, listener. And I'm going to provide the, the code in the description. So don't worry if you uh, don't, if you write this, write this incorrectly. Then parentheses. And inside of this parentheses, I want uh, quotation marks. And inside of them, I want to type click because we want to have a click event. I'm going to type comma. And after this comma, I am going to type a uh, name of the function that we want to call when we click on this, uh, on this button. And this name of the function is something that we create. This is arbitrary. So I'm going to type show and height. All right. So I'm going to copy this show and height and I'm going to create the function. And then I will explain this one more time when I have the function created. So function, name of the function. After the name of the function, we use parentheses. These parentheses are going to be empty, nothing inside. Then we are going to get curved parentheses, like so. If you create one and you hit enter, it is going to create the bottom one by default, at least for me. And uh, now we are going to type something in the, in the function. And I want to explain one more time. So we have this, which refers to the animate, my button, this is button, some kind of method, even listener, click and show and hide. And basically it means that if I click on this my button, this function show and hide is going to be called. And in this function, I can start with something like uh, this. Uh, I will have to click on this shape to see it, my shapes. And when I click on this my shape, I am going to go to the bottom layer. So I will click on the code layer. So, but uh, what I can do is uh, I'm going to copy this, control C. And if you want to close the code, you can close it with these double arrows. And if you want to go back to the code, you can right click and choose actions or F9 just in case that you are going to get lost somehow. All right, and also make sure that you, uh, when you see something blue like this, uh, don't leave the mouse because it is going to uh, put it inside of the panel and we do not want to do that. But uh, back to the code, this, my shapes, visible is going to be false. All right, uh, right now, this code is not going to be working yet because there is uh, one little issue and it is uh, when we are outside of the functions, we use this. And if we are inside of the function, we also want to use this, but uh, it is not going to be working just that. What we need to do is create some kind of variable. So I'm going to choose var and you can call this any, anything. We can call this this with uh, D I S is equal to this. And when we are out, outside of the function, we are going to be using normally this. And when we are inside, we are going to be using this. Or we can call this root. And in, the, in that case, I will have to call it also root in here. It's up to you. But right now, if I hit control enter, and if we did everything correctly, if I click on this shift, show or hide, this is going to disappear. And uh, if, uh, if it didn't disappear, you probably wrote something wrong. Uh, there is an option if you are in the browser, right click and choose inspect and go to the console. And in this console, uh, you would see some kind of error. All right. But uh, I do not want to go as much to that, but I can add one O in here. So root, control enter, I am going to click nothing is going to happen. I will inspect. And if I go to the console, I have some error in here. But uh, yeah, I will go like so. Now what I want to do is create some kind of else if else statement, which if the uh, if uh, my shapes are visible, I want to make them invisible. And if they are invisible, I want to make them visible. And it is going to be very simple. I am going to be inside of the function. 
And uh, these uh, spaces in here, uh, they are arbitrary. It doesn't matter how much space you have. It is not going to influence your code. And I'm going to type if parentheses, and inside of this if, inside of this parentheses, I am going to copy this, control C, like so. Uh, but uh, this semicolon I'm going to get rid of. I, you cannot have it in here. So if root my shapes visible is equal to false, but right now pay attention because if we are inside of this if statement, we are comparing. And if we are comparing, we need to have a double equal sign. Okay, if I have it in here, root my shape visible is equal to false. Here I have only one times equal sign because we are putting this that this is going to be false. But if we are inside of this if, it's like we are comparing like if root my shape visible is equal. And in this case, it need to be uh, two times equal or you can even have three times that is little difference between two and three, but two is enough. But yeah, if you are inside of the if, it, it has to be double, then uh, curve parentheses like so. And I am going to cut this, control X, and put it in here. And again, I want to get rid of the semicolon. The semicolons, they are optional and you do not have to have anywhere. So rather than use them because there are places where they are not needed and where they can destroy your code. So inside of this if else, don't do semicolons. So if root my shape visible is false, I want root my shape visible to be true. All right. And then I'm going to type else and else I'm going to copy this, control C, and I'm going to type false. And I will try to explain this one more time. So if my shape is not going to be visible and I click on this, it is going to be visible. And else, because there is only one other option, because one of the option is that my shape is not going to be visible, when I click on this button, and in that case, I want to make it visible. And another option is that it is going to be visible. And when it is visible and I click, I want to make it invisible. In some other cases, there is possibility to, to have more options. And I'm going to cr create an uh, advanced tutorial for, for if else. Uh, we would uh, write something like if else, we would have if, then we would have if else, and then we would have maybe a few more times if else and then else. But in this case, we have only if and else. And I'm going to hit control enter. And if we did everything correctly, it is going to be working. So I'm going to click, it is going to hide. I'm going to click, it is going to show. And I can do this forever. All right. Uh, one more thing that I want to show you is that we can do this another way. I can type like if root my shape visible is true, then I want to have it false. So if it is true when I click, then I want this to be false. And then my else is going to be true because the else is if my root shape is false, then I want to make it true. So it doesn't matter whether we start with false or true it is going to be working either way. So control enter and I can, I can do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to close this by clicking on this arrow and maybe one thing that I can do is uh, click on the, on the stage, go to the stage color and just create some kind of background. So if I hit control enter, I can see the borders of my, or my, of my canvas. Uh, but yeah, this is it. This was like a very simple if else statement. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced if else statement. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. If you like this video, hit the like. If you are interested in animate uh, tutorials or After Effects tutorials or maybe Photoshop Illustrator, go ahead and subscribe. 
And yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye.